Target 8 is learning that one of two former Western Michigan University freshman football players charged today with armed robbery has been in trouble before. Target 8 uncovered that Bryson White was arrested just months ago in his hometown of Ohio, in Ohio in a case that involved a gun and marijuana. At Target 8 investigator Ken Colker is in Kalamazoo with the latest. Ken? Well, that arrest came in March, months before White joined the Broncos, raising questions about what the team knew or what the team should have known. It does surprise me. The victim in Friday's alleged robbery wonders how WMU could not have known about the prior case. That surprises me a lot that it was either missed, I guess you can say, or um, just looked past because of his athletic ability. She says White was one of two men who forced the way into her apartment Friday. She says they robbed her while armed with a handgun and knife, demanding money and drugs. White and Ron George, both 18, were arraigned today on charges of armed robbery and home invasion. Today, it took about an hour for Target 8 to track down White's record by phone through Warren County Juvenile Court in Mason, Ohio, and through the local police department. I guess that flew under the radar, I guess. Um, to a lot of people, a lot of people are going to say it's because he was such a great ath athlete. Mason police stopped White in a swerving car in March of this year, three days before his 18th birthday. Police say that car reeked of marijuana. When they asked if they had fine pot in the car, White said that they had smoked it all on the way. Officers said they found a 38 caliber Smith & Wesson handgun in a backpack with a Band-Aid on the trigger, apparently to eliminate fingerprints. They also found a mask and a glove. Police said that White refused to cooperate. He was charged with driving under the influence of marijuana and driving on a suspended license, and his trial is set for late September in Ohio. His passenger was charged with carrying that gun. Today, WMU coach P.J. Fleck held a press conference before Target 8 learned of White's prior case. Do you see anything in their past right now, now that you're digging back, that would give any indication that something like this would happen? Uh, you dig as much as you want. And uh, you, you can say you have something, you don't have something. You can dig as a head coach as much as you want. It is what it is at this point. And uh, you just have to be able to use it for the future players as you continue to recruit them. He's dismissed the players from the team. There's zero tolerance for anything like that within our culture. Zero. Now, we reached out to Western Michigan University officials to fight to see if they knew if they knew anything about these prior charges. Now, they promised just minutes ago to send me an email with a, a statement, but I still haven't got it. I've been actually looking at my phone to see if I'd get it. I still don't have it. Um, as for uh, George, we did look at his, for his record, found nothing in Pennsylvania where he's from. Live in Kalamazoo, Ken Colker, 24-Hour News 8. Okay, Ken, thank you for the live report tonight.